Hey guys, welcome to Tech Merge Daily. I'm your host, Tom Mullins. And on episode number 15, we are going to take a look at the Flow Flow Flav plugin. Hey folks, welcome to the Tech Merge Daily Podcast, or actually the WordPress Daily Podcast. This is episode number 16. And on this episode, we're going to take a look and dive into the Flow Flow plugin, uh, the free version of the plugin. Uh, but before we do, let's talk a little bit about who we are and what we're doing. So uh, we're this, ep- this uh, podcast is a member of the Tech Merge Podcasting Network, which you can find out more information about at techmerge.net. You can also check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash techmerge. You can check us out on Twitter at techmergenet. And also, uh, you can help us uh, by contributing to our efforts here at the Tech Merge Podcasting Network uh, by any donation in any amount at patreon.com slash TechMerge. For more information about TechMerge, visit us at techmerge.net. Thanks for watching, and let's dive into the show. So, one of the things that I wanted to do when I created the techmerge.net website was provide some social media integration with some content partners, some people that maybe we do business with, some uh, people that have content that are privy to church technology and WordPress. So what we did was, is that we could, you know, we wanted to create something that was dynamic. Uh, We wanted to make it look good on our site. And after a bunch of research, we found that the Flow Flow plugin was the best option. And as you scroll down on our techmerge.net website, uh, and you see the latest technology trends and posts, you'll see that this is a social media stream. Right now, we're only integrating uh, Twitter sites or Twitter uh, accounts or Twitter uh, um, handles into this, but you can add a lot more social channels uh, later. And I'll show you how that works and, and what all you can add here shortly. But as you can see, it brings in that Twitter content dynamically right here in the site. Uh, and it displays it in a very nice format. It's, it's a four column uh, format. You can see all the different uh, social media content that's going out right now on Twitter on all of these different uh, hashtags. And uh, it's a pretty cool process. You can show more. Um, If there's more, it will load additional. Uh, And just it allows for some social media integration or interaction on your website. So uh, you can download uh, the social uh, Uh, stream flow flow plugin and install it once you install it you're going to be asked for the api keys of all of your social media accounts Uh, facebook api twitter api uh, all of those you'll have to uh, authenticate and use your api tokens for Uh, the plugin gives you some information on how to do that and once you've done that then you're going to create a new feed and as you can see there's a ton of different Uh, social media sites that you can bring in content from Uh, RSS uh, feed, uh, Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. um, And, you know, there's a ton of them. Google. um, There's a ton of different social media sites that you can bring content in. So what you do is you pick the particular one that you want to use. So we're going to use Twitter because we've got Twitter authenticated already. Move my mic out of the way for just a second so that I can see the screen a little better. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, tweets by search. I can choose user feed. I can choose a user list. I can choose user likes. So there's a lot of customization as what gets shown. Uh, In this case, we're going to do the user feed. And we're going to uh, put in the the handle of the person that we're wanting to use. Um, Not real sure um, what we want to do. I'm not going to actually put one in in this case. 
uh, but I would put it in right there. I would name the list. I would tell it how often to pull and how many posts to pull. Uh, and then I would save that out and that would allow that content to show up uh, in that social stream. Uh, there's two different things. There's feeds. Feeds are the, the content that you want to show and the stream is the content being displayed on the page itself. So you'll see here, here is all of my feeds. I've got WordPress, uh, New Blue FX, uh, Tech Merge Net, VMix, uh, New Tech, and Wirecast are all the ones that I've got in there right now. And we'll be adding some more in the future. Uh, you can have more of those. Uh, they're all Twitter feeds for us, but they could be Pinterest feeds. They could be uh, Facebook feeds. They could be um, uh, YouTube feeds. I mean, the sky's really the limit as to what content you can put into the social stream. And then once you've done that, <coughs> you'll come over here to the social stream and you can add each individual um, feed into each social stream. And then you take a short code, which you see right over here, and you just embed that on your WordPress site. And then you have a display very similar to the one that you see right here, where you have the social media feeds of the um, different people that you're watching or viewing. Um, it's a pretty cool plugin. I give it a five out of five. Um, it's very functional, even the free version. I do believe there is a premium version available uh, that is a little bit additional cost, but um, uh, I'm not sure what that is. We'll include the links to this uh, plugin in the show notes. And um, really, guys, that's about all I have today. Uh, and I want to thank you so much for watching episode number... 15? Yeah, episode number 15, Flow Flow. I'm Tom Mullins signing off. Have a blessed day.